hi so in this video i want to show you how edtify works um for everybody that wants to set up their online academy with edtify so i'm going to be doing an overall uh, demo to show you how to create all the things in the system and the possibilities of things that you can do in your own website so assuming you've created your website and then you want to actually create things so the system gives you the opportunity to create courses exams ebooks and competition so depending on what you're actually using it for right you can actually make use of all of that right now when you're logged in as the admin or as a manager or a lecturer because the system gives you the opportunity to add unlimited admins which are lecturers okay so assuming you are logged into the system as any of these um, admin or lecturer or manager or whichever you can always come down to the menu button here as your name and then you click on admin so once you go to the admin then you're going to see the exam if you activate the exam is activated for you you would see it if the league is activated you would see it so whichever um, plugin has been activated for you that's what you would see right so either exam publication course league whichever one so i'm going to start with the course right now so assuming you have the course and you want to create content in the course so you have to click to open course now when you open the course what you need to do is to come to this menu button here click on it and click on create a course so when you click on create a course it will give you that opportunity to add up um to okay let's wait for it to load so now if when it opens for you then you can just go ahead and type the name of the course let me call this this is a new course okay now i can come down the duration is the number of um days the person would actually assess that course so when the person pays for the course imagine the course is a, is a priced course the amount of month the amount of days the person would have access to that course so let me make it to be um 365 so for one year that person would have access to that course and let me say this course is meant for fifty thousand naira. now on fifty thousand, right so the currency can either be naira see this Kenya shilling or dollar so whichever one you're using that's what you're going to take there so i'm going to use naira then if i want to add learning so what the person would learn on this course you will learn how to create a new course then i can see add more learnings right i can see you learn that's the objective how to sell your courses so I'm gonna work with just this two. Then I can just go over here and just copy this and put that as my description and my summary. Okay, so description can be detailed um, <coughs> description of that particular course. So you can add everything, they include in the course curriculum. It supports the when you're building your text, you're using the enter key, whichever one you're doing there, it supports all of that. Okay, then if you have a preview video, you can always upload the preview video there and then lastly you can add up an image so let's just add an image and leave the preview video for now okay let's just come down here and upload this one here okay and after that i'll create my course okay so this is a new course has been created successfully so you can see the course here now inside the course you can now go in there to add up your module or your content so the system gives you the opportunity to add modules to add content and also to add live sessions so whichever one you want to do you can do all of that so let's assume you want to add a module so you click here and let's call this module one module one and then the module one has a title introduction okay let me just use this so i can just copy this as a description of that um of that course oh okay now the first module has been added so i can come in here and add the second module so i'll come down here um, module two module two can also be week two i'm learning to create a course so i can just copy all of this copy come down here paste it and add now assuming i have just these two modules and i want to add content into them now I'll come down to the menu button now i can be able to add unlimited content into a particular module so i can come down here and just look for a single um video let's look for a simple video um that may not really have so much um let's see this is um okay let me use this one okay 
now i can come down here and just put the video they come here the video so that's it then i'm gonna add up so it's gonna take time it's gonna load up for me depending on, on my network okay so now the video has been uploaded successfully okay so now what we need to do is to add up more content in this i can come down here and add a document so it can also add um, documents you must not always add up um video so let's look for a, a document that we can actually add up um creators brief okay, this is 2mb so i can add that up so um course creators so you can give it a name of the exact um title of that particular content so it could be the name of the maybe the the subtopic or the topic can be the name there so the student knows what they are going to um to learn or when they click on that so i've been able to add two of it now to add live session first you need to activate the live session from your from your system you need to activate this live session you need to install it so once you install it it's going to load up for you and it will be installed so that has been installed now so if i come down you will see that it has been installed so i want to add up a live session to that my course so i'll open the course come down in here now i'm going to type my live session come in same course here add live session so come here and let's call this um week one one um revision class okay so the meeting link i'll add up a meeting link so it has to do with you google meet and all of that right so let me just copy this and uh, we can revision class as the description now when would it start it's going to start um let's say start tomorrow on on thursday by let's say um 7 a.m okay then of course um, let me make it to end on um that same that same thursday to end by let's say 10 a.m so this is two hours live session right so i can just say 10 a.m and once i'm done i would add that live session so that has been added now i can now go back to view the course so you can add more content into this modes but we're just going to work with just this first one here so i will come down and view the course now this is the course right now we have the video we have the document but the live session is not yet active it is when it to be active okay so it's not yet active and then you can always you can click on it until it is active so i can click on open course for students that's where they will click to assess the course or they need to subscribe to pay because i'm not i'm an admin i'm just seeing this so you can see this is a course so if i play this that's a course okay so it's playing all right so that's what that's that's the course itself so that's it they can actually um look at the the image i'm um, sorry the documents the students can read so for a course that you just need, need them to just read documents and then take an exam you can always do all of that okay so they can move from one page to the other and they'll be able to read all the content you have but the content must be a pdf for the audio for the pdf for the document while for the video it should be mp mp4 all right so that's it on that so i think with this you should be able to know how the the online course works it's it's very easy to use so let's go back to the dashboard and let's look at the exams okay so i'll go to the exam now for the exam the system gives you an opportunity to first of all add up your questions into the question bank so what you need to do before you add or create your exams make sure you have your questions already in the question bank so you can come to this menu button here and go to the question bank section now in the question bank section you could actually add up um different questions based on their subject based on their um, topics or whichever way you want to easily navigate to them so you can also create them into different categories that means you create them in a folder like this so that means you can go for a particular class or a particular level to the next level so that you can go into that particular level to assess all the um, um the question bank in that particular um 
class so this is where you just come down to this place and create a question bank so that's all you type the name of the question bank the title of the question bank and the description that you create so i'm not going to do that because of time so when you do that you can just you would see your question bank as i mean this is something that you've created now you can click to open that particular question bank now if there's no question here you can always come to add questions for the first time the system supports five types of questions it's up it supports objective which is when they are select objective it is going to give me the parts to add up options so i can add option a option b option c and as many options as, as possible so if i type a question for example what is it now does it as a question for objective now i'm going to give the um a noun is the name of a person that is the correct answer so um, i have a, a noun is an action word so then let me go to the last one here so i can say a noun is a verb so of course we know that the answer is a so that means i will select that a and uh, when it's an objective question you can't select more than one correct answer so if i take this one it's going to uncheck this one so that's it so once you do that you add your question so question has been added successfully then if i go to my questions i will see the new question i just added and the correct answer is highlighted so that's it you can add unlimited questions for the theory theory means that it's an essay question that means the student will need to and uh, type in their answer for whatever questions you are giving to them so you type in the answers so that's that for the for the theory question so if i give anything then let me just see what is a verb as the question there so it doesn't give you place to add any option so you add the students are expected to write the answer or type in the answers on that side now i go to the third one we have the boolean boolean means it's a total of force so uh, i can say um noun is a name of a person the answer is two so i select two and i'll add that then you also have the um, the range question this gives you the minimum and the maximum value so i can just come down and see um what number can you find before and after 10. so the minimum is 9 and the maximum is 11. so i'm going to do that and add that then the last one is a multi-choice question multi-choice is more like um the, you can now have more than one correct answer unlike the objective that you have just one answer but you cannot select or check box what would happen so let's see uh, which of these is a noun so i can come down and see dog come down and see he come down and say going come down add more and say um let's say ship so this is a noun and this is a noun so a and b so while you're adding up your questions and your answers please don't add up your numbers to them okay as you can see i'm just typing the the questions and also the answer so you don't need to type in the questions or the you don't need to have type the numbers or the items maybe number one number two or option e be inside the box just leave it like that so once you add that now the the question has been added so now let's go ahead to create an exam and add these questions to an exam so i'll come down to quit an exam quit exams now you can quit unlimited exams right so new exam testing okay so if you want to add a price to the exam you can add that but if you don't you can leave that so the currency and all of that so you have the exam duration now this is it this is the time a student is expected to take that exam so if the exam is going to last for for one hour you want to add 60 because it's in duration is in minutes right so you should type 60 for one hour if it's for two one if it's for two hours you type 120 right 
if it's for two hours, if it's for nine, one hour, 30 minutes you type, or maybe 90. So based on the number of hours, then the public categorization, so you can just come um, educational exam. So you have show in search, allow review and show correction. So if you want them to see that correction, you take it, but if you don't want that, you uncheck it. Right now, let's just copy the description. Let me just copy this, but it should be a detailed description. And then once you're done, you create your exam. So once the exam has been created, now you have to click into the exam to add up the questions to that exam. So we are done questioning the exam, the question bank. Now it's time for us to manage that exam. So this is the general exam settings. So you can schedule when the exam would start and when the exam would, will end, just like the way <coughs> we actually did for the live session. So you can schedule that, add up all your exam questions, do everything, and then you can actually now make the exam to start on a, on a later time so you just use the normal days and time and select but if you want it to be an instant you don't need to do all of this the student will be able to assess it whenever they go to um log in or subscribe to the exam they can assess it then this is where you type in your your um instructions answer all questions so sex carefully rather so once you finish doing that then you also please ch always check down and just be sure that this is actually not checked in the case whereby you don't want it to be checked you must you always try to check that this is not ticked like this so just do that then update exam so it has been updated successfully then we can now go to add questions now in the add questions you can you can also create your um sections in your exam so i can come down and call this section okay i already have the general section that's always there so i can call this section b and let me just copy and paste this as section b the system always have a general section okay so we have two sections now now to add questions in the first section i will just come down click on add questions here so to the new exam um i just created the new question bank so i already have what is phonics allowed i'm going to add this three as in to be in the first section i'm going to add that so in the case whereby you want to add all the questions without checking them one after the other, just click on check all and you will be able to add all the questions inside. So I've added that one now to the first section, which is the general section. So if I go down, I will see those questions I just added, but in the section B, nothing is there. So let me add up a, que a, a question or some questions into that section B. So the same primary one questions. I will come down there and select these other ones so these other ones i already checked because they, they've been answered they've been they're in the other option so that's why you can see that it is checked so i'm going to go down now quit it added it to the second section now i'll go back to the exam okay so i have three here and i also have three questions here so that's how you add questions to your exam very fast now you go to the secure and monitor exam here you can randomize the questions and you can also randomize the options so that means it's going to shuffle the questions and options across different students okay and also you have the proctored supervision you need to activate this so if you are, if you have an exam subscribers it should be activated so you need to add a subscriber to activate that exam the portal technology so for you you're not paying for it it's actually um something that you can actually use then you have the preparatory mode now this is going to help if you want to create a preparatory exam practice exams you want the student to re attempt you want the student to see the corrections all of that can be checked so you can do all of that and if you want to also make money from your preparatory exams you can add a price to it and so then we subscribe to have access to that exam so if you don't want that you can leave this if you want to do that after clicking on all of that you can update but not i don't need that for now so this is the exam result this is where you see the students results on the table and uh, this is where you see the list of all the subscribers to your exams and all of that so let's view the exams that we have so that's the exam so let's start to take an exam so once we do that you start an exam okay so this is the first section we have the general section and we have the section b the exam was for one hour 30 minutes so we can go section a section b so once we do that i think i i didn't get this correctly maybe i may have reduced that time so let's answer the question first that's wrong um this is what is it now because it was randomized you can see that this is not the first question to see 
so it's not it is not randomized so the first question is supposed to be what is phonic something like that so he what is the, what are, what of each of these is a noun he sheep going dogs i can see um let me select this one to be correct go i'm um, sorry sheep and dog correct now what is in what are, okay so i can see this is section b rather this is not section a this is section this is general this is the section b part so i can see um 9 and 11 so i know i got to correctly in this point so i can come to down to my general section what is phonics what is uh the, uh, the name sound of pronunciation next what is a noun a verb the actual word the of a person it's correct so this is the part where you have the theoretical hmm. exam so now they can answer the question by themselves a verb is an action or a doing word so simple and then go to the next page it brings you down to this section i've already answered this so let's submit answer six of six yeah i continue so i'm done so i have four co correct and um, four um max so that's it so i can exit my exam so once i do that i can go back to the let's go back to the admin section okay let's go back to the admin section now okay so once i do that i can now um okay admin now go down to the so now you can now view anytime somebody finish taking an exam you can see the results instantly so go back to that same exam now go to the exam results okay let's see okay so it has loaded now you can see that particular exam so exam score this is a score this is the time the student takes but this is second not in minutes please that mail the maximum score is supposed to be six then you can still see the participant scripts so you can also look at what the person selected and what the person got correct now this is the what is the verb and this is the answer the person gave so you can see that there then in section b you can also see um the question this was the one selected so failed and also the the system doesn't mark um theoretical questions it's only marks questions that have already have expected answers okay so that's just like the way this is also correct so i have this which is correct that's why i got four so i selected this which is correct i selected this so these are the questions are the different questions that we that we have that are actually uh, you can also print this out and then you can also download it at a print or save as pdf so you can do whichever one so in case you want to also make reference to this you can always do that so that's how you're going to add up to your exams or quit your exams now uh, lastly let's check the um the book so i'm doing this for the ebooks so this is publication this is where you put up the book so you go down to open a book now you can create so many items you can create um, list for so many books you that means when i'm talking about book this book can be e notes can be lesson notes it can be anything maybe you want people to buy a particular book on the system they can also buy to download and watch so all of that are things that you can always do there so once you want to create a book you can come down here and create a publication now you can come down here to type the name of the publication let's call these um let's say jira textbook that's the name of this book so keywords we can leave that for search engine price let's see this is um 2500 currency the default if i don't select any currency here the default is in naira so you may want to know that in case you don't put anything there this default is in naira so publish so this is an ebook okay now it needs table of content if you want to add that you can do that that will enable the student to navigate to a particular um um page easily if you have the page number and all of that you can do that then the system requires that you add up an auto so i can come down and say the auto is um velvet jira 
so that's in the mode auto you can still add multiple autos if you have um as many autos as possible so you can add more than one autos then you can now upload the file so let me also add up the same file that i added before okay um this is a okay that's big so let me use this one now I can come down here and select what I want. Allow read. If you don't want them to download it, don't check this. So if you want them to download it, you can check for them to download. But if you don't want it, uncheck it. Allow review and all of that. Okay. Then in description, let me just copy this. So this will, this can be the description, can be the abstract, can be anything on your book. So this can be this abstract this can be a complete description of that particular book now if you have an image for that ebook you can also add up an image but for now let me just use something like this and then take this as the image it takes the image it takes the the book cover um image so you may want to also look into that by uploading an image with the book cover so it's going to load up all the the book that's first of all loaded the image now it's loading the book into the system so once you do that you should be able to have your book once it has finished um it's complete okay created successfully now you can see the book is now here all right so you can click to open the book now of course this is for you to make any adjustments right but i just want to view the book so that you will see how the student sees it so student sees it this way this is the lecturer this is the the about at the description so if you have a table of content you can add that up if you have reviews students will put reviews here you would see that but then you can still read the book okay so you can actually read the book so the book loads up for you uh, you should be able to read that book so let's wait for it to load up now the book is available the one beauty, one good thing about this is that we've added lots of security to the system so they can't actually um download anything copy anything so i'm trying to right click it brought this out for me if i want to keep i'm trying to drag on but it's not working right it's not working i can't copy so if i want to even press control if i want to even print this um device or that particular page you will see that it is blank so we've added lots of technology to safeguard your content so except you allow them to download it from here then there will be a button here to download that particular book if not they won't be able to download it and you can move from one page to the next and just like that they can't copy anything here all right so that's how we've been able to do the book so it is highly secured for your for whatever thing you do you want to sell ebooks on the platform you want to quit courses on the platform you want to put up um, your exams conduct wait time exams for your students for recruitment whichever thing you want to do this system gives you that opportunity to do all of that without e -cup, right so let's check what we have here since my network is a bit down okay so that's that's how you are able to put, create content in your platform now one thing i didn't show you or i didn't show you is i'm going to share um how to the categories that you can see here now these categories are folders created so if i go to any of these categories if there are content inside you will see those content now this helps to streamline your content based on their different classes different levels different categories so you can always create categories too now this is applicable applicable to both the courses both the exams both the leagues so this is going to help the student whenever they come to the platform or to your website they can just go to the courses and in that courses page they would see all the categories so if i mean year one you will see year one year two so they can go there and in there when they click on that particular year one they can now see maybe the different um classes so it could be courses for different more folders or more categories for different departments or faculty or all of that so you can break down um the way people assess contents help them to navigate from one page to the other easily now when you add your students to the class or when the students subscribe to the class they can always come down to my courses my exams my books my leagues my results now this is going to give them the 
easy way to navigate to their to their course that they are already subscribed to so they can they can subscribe to all of that okay the system is is very um, robust and one thing you can create unlimited content on the platform everything you're doing here they are all unlimited okay back to the admin so for your lecturers we have the subscribers page we have the managers we have the center wallet and we have the registered users now for the registered users are the list of people that come to your website to create an account so you will see them here on the registered users so you can actually get their details and you can actually send them emails call or whichever way you want to use as your email marketing or whatever thing you want to do to reach out to your people that are that are registered in your platform then you have the managers now this is where you see um, all the lecturers or all the managers or everybody that should be able to have access to the admin now these set of persons may not be able to do everything on the platform like they can't come to the center wallet to view the price or the money that is there this is only um visible by just one person and that's the person that is the um for us to tab that person as the owner of this website so that's the only person that can access that page now the reason is because if the person has anyone can access that page that person would be able to transfer money from that account balance to their bank and it will be instant so we want to avoid all of that so that's how we made it to be just one person to be able to do that transfer and you will be able to see all the um, transaction histories for that particular um center so it can go from one page to the next page in case because it's 30 is the ma maximum and if you want to see the exact then that i've actually made payment you can always come to center transactions and you would see that um students including um what they actually um subscribed for so you can see all of that right so that's one thing you should be you would be able to check on the system then deposits we show you the list of all the deposits that means the one that come all the money that come in with dollar uh, everything that you've um you transfer to someone or you send to somebody so that's it then you also have the manage website and that's where you you manage every information on the landing page so every information you see on this page are being uh, managed everything you're seeing here they're not these ones but these the image every of those things these um let's add a piece all of these are being managed um um by your this thing by on that page here so you have this also so these are the contents there now you can see them so that's what you do um you add up all of those then you can also ch um change the brand color from this so you can select your brand color the one you want it to be and all of that okay if i use this and i update it updated if i come down and i refresh this page you would see the brand color has been updated so you can see it's no longer the green we saw but rather it's now um a blue let me change it back to the green that i can use okay manage and that's it refresh so you have your brand color you can always use that so if in case you want to exact brand color you can still use the rgb code or you can still use the hsl or you can use the x code whichever one every color have each of these um numbers you can use that to get the exact um color your brand color so that's it and how to that's how to um to manage your website and do everything on htfi so basically that's all you have then um what else what else so I think everything is straightforward. You've been able to quit just the league, which of course I'm not gonna go deep into that because um um it's only for those who want to host online competitions. Okay, so you can host online competitions, the competitions amongst your students, or amongst different things. You want to get the best students, you you host a competition, it's a CBT competition, all right, where you add students for that competition and you add different exams, and the students will take exams at different times. So that's what you can also do so the system is quite large you can add up unlimited students so for your students into this platform whenever you've, you've created their account you need to add them as subscribers because it's a private system or that's if you're using a private system 
you need to add your center subscribers now these are the only people that would be able to have access to assess your content either to pay or even view they can they would be required to be subscribers else because they are not subscribers that means they are not your students so they can access it so because we want to make sure that not everybody can access content that they are not added to so that's why so it is actually if you if you're using a private center or your 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 academy is a private one make sure you add your students into the system before they can be able to assess that content they need to be added as subscribers but if it's a public then there's no need for you to do all of this so then we just go assess the course and then they would have us they would just pay for it and then they would have access to the course so basically um this is a, just a rundown on how um it's to uh, work for you if you want to use the system for whatever you want to do so it is there so you can always use the 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 item that you want if you don't want leaks you won't see leaks here so that's how the system works so um, i think for now we are good to go thank you very much for your time and i wish you all the best bye for now